somehow we feel that we, we're deserving. So we deserve the best. So like somebody has a disease and they, they don't just go to the, down to the clinic. They go to the, not even just to the hospital. They go to the best hospital, maybe, uh, maybe five states over somewhere, some famous hospital that's uh, specialized in heart disease or cancers or, or whatever they feel like, uh, is going to be the, the top specialist, you know. And, and I think we're doing the same thing with, uh, with spirituality. We're looking for that best guru. Yes. Know, or for so long, we're doing it. And, uh, I mean, I would have to say that I found a few. <laughs> and uh, what I realized is uh, when I just started to come and do this show, okay, the best guru really didn't need this show because they had a, a huge following already. They, I mean, I didn't have any following, you know. I needed them. And so then I was talking mostly with emerging teachers, let's call it. And uh, it turned out that I got a lot more out of emerging teachers because I just felt like, whoa, God, if this guy could do it, I could do it too, you know. I just felt That's like, whereas that, 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 that super guru, I mean, he had such a marvelous life from the time he was four years old or something. I mean, there were so many circumstances there that I could say, no, no, that's a preparation. I, could, I don't have that preparation, you know. He's got 40 years of of uh, these wonderful experiences that uh, that morph from one to the next to the next to the next, you know. How could that be me, you know? It was just so far away. I mean, it was like more like entertainment. And, uh, you know, at the time I thought it was a serious quest, but really it wasn't because I had a deep, ingrained belief that that could never be me. And, yeah, uh, which, uh, Richard, this is so perfect. That's my point. You have made this, you have made this my point, because once we have the concept that, that there are special people, it instantly, Richard, we're separate. And this is the story. And I agree that the storyline is going, and it goes a lot. But I'm asking us, isn't it time to question the story? Is it really true? But, but look, the really, the ones that I know personally that, who the world would say are the great gurus. When I speak to them personally and ask them, people would say, oh, I want to be just like you. How can I be? And their answer was, you and I are different. Really? Are we really different? Question this. And it is, it is those teachers, whatever you want to call them, that throw us back on ourselves to doubt that statement that they, it's all a story that they have this experience and that experience. Well, I go back to what I said that God is, is in everything. It's in the worst experience we ever had. It's in the best. And if there's only one, then no matter who is having the experience, there is no separation.